show, if you missed it, we took you to Japan, where the search for missing airmen continues after Monday's typhoon. Kevin Yard learned a lot this morning. Make sure that all the fluids are topped up. Windshield washer fluid, antifreeze here, even the oil. Make sure that you know where the dipstick is. Hoses, make sure that they're all nice and tight. You know, there's no interference in your fan belt. And we spoke to meteorologist Dr. Doug Gilm about the upcoming Thanksgiving long weekend. I like this word, milder. This yes. is good news. The temperatures recover into the upper teens. Join us again tomorrow morning, 5.30 tonight. Well, everybody wants to know what the Thanksgiving weekend is going to be like. Ken joining us, meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum. Are you going to be people's friend or not so much? Well, it just depends on what you're looking for. If right. you want the chilly temperatures, <laughs> actually, we've got a little bit of everything this weekend. Um, some nice weather to get out and drive. And look at the leaves. It's some milder temperatures on. He things. means that by staying inside and right. warm. <laughs> it's going to feel more like Halloween, but it, it's October. Okay. All right. Well, the pattern map is showing that we do have a kind of cool, chilly trend ahead of us late week and into the weekend. We've got this big dip in the jet stream. Right. We're sitting comfortably in this cold trough. That doesn't sound too comfortable to me. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, temperatures several degrees below seasonal right through the weekend. Let's get to the details with the, the map for Friday. The good news is the system will be passing to our south, so we will see a mixture of sun and clouds. Again, as you've been saying, can't rule out the lake effect mm -hmm. showers, um, but the widespread rain stays well to the south. So here are those scattered showers uh, up towards cottage country on Saturday and Sunday. Throughout the GTA, mixture of sun and clouds, but highs really struggle to get out of the lower teens. And that, like I said, continues through Sunday. Autumnal. You put that word in. Just, just for, for you. Me. I know you do. Okay, so for Thanksgiving, I mean, th I like this word, milder. This yes. is good news. Yeah, temperatures recover into the upper teens. Unfortunately, with the arrival of warmer air will come a lot more cloud cover and a few showers. This is not a washout. And if you head up towards cottage country, we should see a fair amount of sunshine for Thanksgiving Day. Uh, the pattern as we go into next week does bring several days of this temperatures. Yeah, so it's going to be quite a contrast to the middle and end of this week. We will be in the upper teens for several days next week, but a significant storm system. We will be unsettled at times next week and windy with some periods of rain. This should hold on though for a few days, but then cooler by the next weekend. So it looks as though the roller coaster continues, but yes. I think people just want to be able to get outside Thanksgiving weekend and with lake effect showers and not a washout for Thanksgiving Monday, people will be able to yeah, do that. Yeah, overall not too bad for October.